Hello queens and welcome back for another World Vegan Month video. Today we're going to be making some yummy whole wheat blueberry muffins. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, these things are so delicious. And I've been eating them every day for breakfast. They are so full. They are so filling. And then I love the fact that they're packed with blueberries. Oh my gosh, antioxidants. I'm telling you guys, like, oh my gosh, look at that. So these are all of the ingredients that you will be needing for this recipe. And of course, as always, I will have everything listed down below as well as the instructions on how to make these yummy blueberry muffins. So starting off, you're gonna combine all of your dry ingredients. So make sure that you have two containers and we're gonna start off with one cup of all purpose flour. So I got this cute container at Dollar General for like two bucks. <laughs> literally I love this thing and so yes we're gonna just put this in there and now we're gonna move on to our 100% organic whole wheat flour from King Arthur flour I like the fact that it is a very light and fluffy um you know flour it really is light so I can't wait to use it in more recipes and you're gonna need two cups of that Moving on, you'll need granulated sugar and you're going to need one and one fourth cups of sugar. And then we're gonna add some baking powder and you're gonna need one tablespoon of this for your recipe. Of course, you're gonna need some salt and that's only a teaspoon. And then after we've combined all of our dry ingredients, we're now gonna move on to our wet ingredients. So just using a small bowl, we're gonna be using the silk soy milk in the vanilla flavor. And you guys, I really don't use a lot of soy milk, but these recipes call for it and I just do not want to use almond. I don't want to alter the recipe. So you're gonna need a cup and a half of this soy milk. So you're gonna need half a cup of applesauce and I just <laughs> used one of these. Next time I will use both of them. Again, this is my first time making them, but again, they were so good. And make sure you get all of that goodiness out of that cup. And then you're gonna need some pure vanilla extract. And we're gonna toss that in there. And then once you have all of your wet ingredients in the same bowl, you're gonna actually whisk this together to actually help it combine even further so that we can actually combine this with your dry ingredients in a second. So now that we have that done, we're gonna now combine again, both the dry and wet ingredients. And I was just trying to make sure I didn't make a big mess. I was trying to make sure I could film this for you guys. And so I'm just gonna use my one cup measuring cup and then I'm just gonna combine this with the dry ingredients and then we're gonna mix this together. And you just really wanna make sure that you don't overwork the batter as well. Cause again, it has the baking powder in there and the baking powder is gonna do that automatically for actually making your blueberry muffins fluffy. So now we're going to add some more. And then simply combine. And you're just simply going to see me do like a folding technique in a sense. And then near the end you'll see I'll start to mix it some. But again remember this is sped up so I was taking my time. So 
okay and this is what your batter is going to look like at the end you guys don't worry about those lumps those are not going to be in the actual muffins i'm telling you they bake out so now we're going to add in of course our blueberries you're going to need two cups of those and y'all i love blueberries they're packed with antioxidants which is so good with helping to detoxify your body and to just keep a healthy regimen overall and i mean they're sweet oh my gosh they're so good and i just use blueberries in a lot of my recipes as well so now we're gonna start putting this in our muffin tin and then i just decided to use liners but you don't have to and i opted to use the cooking spray but in the future i would not use that i would need to make sure that i get my baker's joy but i couldn't find any in the store so if you have baker's joy then that will work but do not use the coconut oil i do not recommend that step so now we're just simply going to scoop this in and you want to make sure that this is about two thirds of the way full and you will see me go back in and add some in there as well because I just again wanted to make sure that every blueberry was just about you know the same amount um, and then two I just wanted to make sure that everything would bake evenly as well I didn't want any crazy looking ones but again I wanted to make sure that I got as many blueberries inside the muffins as possible because I mean Again, they are blueberry muffins. They are going to be so good. And then this is what they look like. So now we're going to add again more blueberries on top. You're just going to add the remaining from the two cups because when you fold it in, you're only going to use about one cup to actually fold inside of the actual batter itself. And then again, like I stated, I did go back through the batter and then I did add to those that seem like they need to have a little bit more. And again, to that the ones that need to have also some more blueberries. And of course, because I'm extra, you guys know I love cinnamon. I just put that shit on everything. <laughs> it's so good. I just love it. I just think it just amps up just any kind of vegan dish, you know, any kind of pastry or breakfast dish that you may be doing that you would want to use cinnamon in. Um, so yeah, I just love adding cinnamon to just about anything and then this is what they look like and so you guys are going to get ready to put this in our preheated oven at 400 degrees and you're going to let this bake for about 20 to 25 minutes And then these are what they look like once they have cooled for about 10 to 15 minutes. And they don't take long to cool down either. And y'all, they were so good. You can reheat these in the microwave for about, I would say about 20 seconds. And they taste just like day one muffins. But look at that. Again, I would not recommend using the coconut oil. Use Baker's Joy on your muffin. But you guys, I'm telling you. They really pack a big punch, I'm telling you, for something so small and so nutritional to have for breakfast and on the go. I'm telling you, you can have it with one of the bananas like I have in the back. I mean, look at those blueberries. Don't they look delicious? So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe because I did. We love them, and I'm definitely going to be making sure that I remake these going into the future. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you guys in the next World Vegan Month video. Bye, queens.